Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you three similar diamonds that look pretty much the same on the certificate, but each performs very differently. First off, let me show you their certificates. Diamond A is a 1.08 carat GVS2. It's GIA certified and its cut, polish and symmetry are all excellent and it has no fluorescence. Diamond B is a 1.02 carat GVS2. It's a triple excellent diamond as well and with no fluorescence. Lastly, Diamond C is a 1.02 carat GVS2. Triple excellent and no fluorescence. Essentially, on paper, all three diamonds are of similar carat weight with identical color and clarity and are all triple excellent diamonds with no fluorescence. So typically, when you walk into any jewelry store, these diamonds would be sold at the same price as they look the same on paper. So now let's have a look at these three diamonds under the fluorescent lighting and focus our attention to Diamond A's ASET scope. Diamond A has a classic ideal proportion and has pretty intense light return which are the red areas under the ASET scope. However, it does not follow the strict super ideal cut proportion. Even though the ASET seems decent, it has a shallow crown angle which isn't shown on the ASET image. You'll notice the entire body of the diamond looks greyer and darker which is caused by the shallow crown angle. This is also why the A set is not the only thing to look out for. Diamond B is a super ideal cut. It has good proportions, good A set, and you get a good body color and not as dull. The eight distinct arrows are obvious, providing a nice contrast with a bright body from the background. This is the type of diamond you want to find and to buy to get the best value for your buck. Moving to the right is Diamond C, which is a typical triple excellent diamond that is sold in 99% of jewelry stores. It has a combination of a messy A set and poor proportions. This results not only in severe light leakages but an overall dull look. Now let's compare them under spotlights. We're going to do something different here and have a look at each diamond one by one without comparing them next to each other first. Diamond A, the ideal cut, has a reasonably good amount of fire. You can see the colorful sparkles that is going on throughout the diamond. In fact, it looks pretty good and decent over here. Next is Diamond B, it has a very good amount of fire too. You can see those big chunky flashes spread throughout the diamond, giving it a very nice scintillating effect. Finally, this is Diamond C. It does have pretty decent fire too, anyone who sees this would still be impressed by it. This is also what a lot of people are seeing in most jewelry stores. Now let's have a look at all three together. When you see diamonds by itself, one by one, it's very difficult to tell if they are good or bad. These spotlights, which jewelry stores uses, makes everything look good and almost the same. So whenever you enter a jewelry store, remember there are always better diamonds out there than the one you're looking at. The problem is that you've seldom given the chance to compare them under different lighting environments. This is why I always advise my clients and friends to do more research before making a decision. Okay guys, this is the last part of our video where we'll be showing you the diamonds outdoors under natural sunlight. I'm standing in an open area right now, there's no camera tricks or any other lightings used here. So this is where the true beauty of the diamond is revealed. The super ideal cut in the middle has many sharp bursts of rainbow colored flashes that is blinding my eyes. It simply stands out amongst the rest. I have to remind you here that all three of these diamonds are 1 carat, GVS2, 
GIA certified triple excellent and they all look similar on the paper. But somehow, they perform so differently. So now, you know guys, there's a lot more that meets the eye. It is absolutely important to do your research before making a decision on your diamond. If you need any help, feel free to drop us an email at our description below or watch more of our videos in our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.